Alright, we're just gonna live with that. Hello! A sincerely wonderful good morning to everyone. And welcome to today's stream. Oh, hang on. I'm hearing myself because I was listening to the audio. Anyway. Yeah, it's been a while, but um, today we're going to be returning to Anna's quest. Um, last time we cleared chapter 3, I believe. And uh, we were kidnapped by someone we thought was a fortune teller, but was secretly the royal princess. And is also secretly the witch who abducted us in the first place. Uh, we found ourselves in a kind of like cellar or gallows or something. Um, beneath this castle and there's an old man's voice calling out to us telling us that uh, they can help and that they knew our grandfather so with the help of our um, our teddy bear friend and our telekinetic powers we're gonna see if we can help Anna escape and figure out what exactly is going on with you know where her powers came from and why her grandpa is so fearful of the outside world. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. A good old dirty dungeon grade mattress. Who knows what bugs are in it? There we go. Okay. Looks like it um kinda of buffered there for a little bit, but I just had to adjust it. Okay, so is there anything I can get from the mattress? Indeed, there is. A good old dead spring. Can I just grab it? Yeah, I can. Okay. So, you know, usual fare for point adventures just take anything you can and try to ignore some of the more disgusting aspects, like. Fresh air, I guess? It doesn't look very wide. Not much of an escape route. No, even if I got the grade off, the tunnel behind is too narrow for me to get through anyway. Cartoon logic, you can fit. No. Okay, uh. I shouldn't use my power on that. So, aside from our normal fare of, um, you know, telekinetic powers, we also have, um, uh, the ability to use telekinesis. Small, pointy bit of metal. Not sure what good it will do me. Okay, let me remember like the controls. Uh, hang on. Settings. How do I open up my menu? Or rather, my inventory. There you go. This is the portrait I found in Winfrieda's tower. And the only thing the prison guards let me keep. I had to took all my inventory. To minister, that's Philip Vogt and his family. The girl is his daughter, Yannicka, who went on to become queen. With Yannicka suddenly disappearing, I can't help wondering if Winfrieda was involved. Hmm. I can't help but notice that um, the other girl ripped out has brown hair. It seems to connect through to the prison cell next to me. Hello? He's just going to get in trouble with his guard again. I better not. Okay, so we can't talk to that guy yet. Well, that doesn't look like it's been cleaned since... since never. <laughs> Most definitely not. Powers! It doesn't seem to work. Okay, fine. I don't think my pow... But they sure do give the place a kind of dungeon feeling, don't they? Yeah. Good on the artists. These torches seem pretty well stuck to the wall. I don't think I'll be able to take them. Telekinesis! Uh, that seems kind of dangerous. Perhaps not. Alright. Setting things on fire willy-nilly is perhaps not the best way to help in my escape from this place. Gasp! Arson solves everything. What do you mean? The back behind a locked door, huh? You seem to be making quite a habit out of this. Locked. I could try, but getting through the door won't do me much good while the guard's still there. Alright, so that could talk to the guard. Did they sure do? He's torn. Okay, same dialogue. He doesn't seem particularly pleased. Let's see. 
Hello. Hi. Excuse me, sir? Huh? You say something? Uh, let's see. Winfried is an evil witch! Okay, listen. As bizarre as this may sound, Winfried is an evil witch. She's got something evil planned and you have to stop her. Winfried? Who's Winfried? Look, save your breath, all right? I've heard it all before. The woman who had me arrested. The guards, they took orders from her. You have to listen to me. I don't have to do nothing for you. I do not go red in the stinking place as it is. Ah, I get it. Minimum wage job, eh? We've all been there. Is there any way to visit other prisoners? Is there any way to visit other prisoners? No. But don't we get to have meals together or something? No. Nope. Yard time, dodgeball, board games night, anything? No. Jeez. Do you even know where you are? You're in maximum confinement. Don't make this any harder on yourself than it needs to be, yeah? You ain't getting nothing like that. Not ever. I don't even know what I did wrong. Maximum? But I don't even know what I did wrong. Kid, not just anyone gets thrown in this cell, alright? Someone out there is seriously spooked by you over time shifts for some child. Ridiculous. I thought things were bad enough before. You don't seem to enjoy this job much. You don't seem to enjoy this job much, huh? And overworked, no bonus, zero health insurance, position below minimum wage, practically non-existent union? Ah, oh, man. It's the best! Jeez, kid, give me a break already. Well, why don't you quit? You look really tired. I think you should quit. Nice try. But you will have to do better than that. I need the pay, little as it may be, and besides, in this place, you need a form just to get a form to apply for a form of complaint. <laughs> and don't even get me started on the so-called union. Postponing meetings again and again until they never take place. Easier to put up and shut up. In fact, I highly recommend it. I reject reality and replace it with my own. Unionize! Unionize! Let's see that look. Okay. That seems to be a hint though on how to get rid of the guard. If I can just convince them to start, to start a proper union or to quit their job. Have you seen a bear prisoner? Have you seen a bear prisoner? Did anyone come in here after me? What? No. Oh. Well, there are those three in the cages, but they came in before you. Three? Oh, can I see them? Nope, no visitors. Now get back. Uh, never mind. Uh, never mind. Huh? <laughs> Oh, hey, Mr. Right. Fox! And here we are. Hello again, my dear. Reynard! My gosh! Keep your voice down. You'll get taken away, too. Oh, hush, hush. I know this fellow here, and he's as deaf as a doorknob. Reynard came to save us. And even if he weren't, he's certainly not the type to go above and beyond his duties, if you follow. Oh, yes, yeah, I got paid enough. But Reynard, where do I start? You came all this way? For me? You came all this way? For me? Well, I'm afraid I can't offer much in the way of brute egress. However, it is true. I have indeed come to offer my assistance in this dire situation. Though how, I'm not quite sure. MVP, oh, Reynard! Thank you. Even if even if I'm stuck here forever, I appreciate that you came. My dear, I to have your usual high spirits so down. Come now. Let's not have the selfish behaviors of the wicked break that youthful, bright spirit of yours. Wait, you know this guard? Wait, you know this guard? But how? Unfortunately, 
Him and his hellish bureaucratic nightmare of an institution. Believe you me, though, it is indeed escapable, albeit with a little... Ah, uh, the trickster. The, uh, the gentleman who runs this establishment, well, the key is to appeal to his devilish side, so to speak. Oh. Reach him, and you will find the red tape he poses can always be cut through with a sharp mind, you see. Uh, not really. But if you've gotten out before, then that means at least it's doable. Yeah, in um in those grim fairy tales, in a lot of stories actually, there, there's that um there's always that trickster. And it's usually an animal. <laughs> so uh, getting good advice from our animal companion here. I think the guard wants to quit. I think the guard wants to quit, Reynard, but I'm not doing a very good job convincing him. Indeed. In removing the guard, you would have free reign in escaping the cell. Clever girl. Yeah, but, well, he said something about union meetings, whatever that is. Ah, indeed. Leave it with me. I have just the thing in mind for this. Back in a tick, my dear. Oh. But... Huh? Where is he gone to now? And what is a union anyway? And why has Raynard come all this way to help me? <clears throat> Attention all union members. An emergency action seminar will commence shortly in the staff hall. I repeat, all union members report to the staff hall. Nice. Please prepare issues for discussion prior to seminar commencement. Well, it's about time to. I'll give them issues for discussion, all right? Right. I should have listened to Grandpa. The world really is full of evils outside the farm. Everyone... Everyone lies and uses people. And... And... And maybe Reynard is just going to use me, too. My, my. Haven't we grown into a rather skeptical young lady? Hmm? Oh... Well, no, I mean, I'm sorry. That was rude of me. You're only trying to help, and if I just... Never mind, dear, never mind. We shall return to the task at hand, shall we? Yes, yes, of course. But what was that about? Hmm. There's no meeting in truth, though I imagine it will take some time for it to catch on. Resourcefulness, as you may recall my saying so. Well... That's one step closer to escape, then. Better push on, then, I suppose. With that enthusiastic gesture, I resign to somewhere more hidden, as it befits me. If you find a means for my assistance, call my name here. I shan't be far, my dear. Okay. Well, actually, I do want to talk to you a bit more. That's where Reynard That's where Reynard found his way to me. I wonder why, though. I have to say, for as good as it is to, you know, unionize and make sure that um, people's voices are heard, especially when it comes to getting better benefits and rights for, you know, workers, there has to be, like, a limit on, you know, on those open forums where people are just voicing out complaints, right? It's important for, you know, folks to, like, um, vent out, but... There has to be some kind of resolution. So, often that's what's happening in those meetings is that people just keep talking about, oh, all the bad things that are happening, and then no one's really offering like a fix for it, and there aren't really enough resources to fix everything all at once, right? So that's what's happening is that as long as there's a union representative, um, and a and a middleman negotiator, right? So one of the management, um. Then usually, if they can like find the smaller problems they can fix first, or focus on bigger problems that can be fixed um, one at a time, then uh, that that's how it gets a good balance of you know workers and the union members. Uh, Reynard, are you there? Yeah, you had more dialogue. Good evening, my dear. You called. Do you know what happened to Ben? Do you know what happened to Ben? Uh, no. 
That I'm afraid I do not. I followed the guards who brought you here, but as for him... It's... it's okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. I'm gonna keep looking around then. See if I can find something to help me out of here. Very well, my dear. If you find a means for my assistance, call my name here. I shan't be far, my dear. If you need me, call me, no matter where you are, no matter how far, don't worry, baby. Goodness, goodness. Little Fox is very helpful. But uh, let's see if um, Reynard can actually help us get out here, or what I need to do so I can get out of here. First things first, let's try the door. Telekinesis, go! Did it work? Seems this door's a bit more sturdier than the ones I've broken before. Ah, redundancy. It's just sturdier. Anna, you don't need to say more sturdier. Locked. Okay, hang on. I have that spring. Can I use a spring? Oh, yeah. Maybe I could pick the lock on the door. Yeah! Mm -hmm. No, it's not a bad idea, but the spring isn't shaped right for the lock. Uh, the torch? Setting things on fire. Oh. Is there anything else I can get here? He's just going to get. And it seems to connect through to the. Hmm. Touching that mat. I've had my share of mattress inspecting for the day, I think. Let's see. The good old dirty. I think uh, the game wants me to, like, change the spring. Oh, oh. Um, hang on. How do I open that? There. Can I use the on spring to shape it? Mm. Well, I have no idea what a lockpick looks like. Yeah. This might do the trick. Okay. Lockpicking can't be all that hard, right? Okay. Roll a lockpicking check, Anna. It's just your dexterity modifier and your efficiency in tools. Here we go. Oh yeah, maybe I could. Aha, freedom from my cell. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. So much for maximum security. Now let's see how I go getting out of this dungeon altogether. Whoop. Hey, you. Where do you think you're going, huh? How'd you even get out of your cell? Uh, well, huh, lucky me. They realized I'm innocent after all, so I guess I'll be on my way out of here now. Ah, whatever. Garden, you ain't my problem. <laughs> oh, you're sick. Those clothes aren't the best fit. No wonder he's sick. No, I could hurt... Whoops, wrong button. Um, excuse me, sir? <laughs> What do you want now, huh? Any chance I could visit the person inside the cell? Any chance I could visit the person inside the cell? Huh. None. So, not even to say hello quick? No. Tram! Yikes! You're pretty sick. You're pretty sick, huh? Pretty funny. Wow, you're pretty observant, huh? Pretty irritating. Maybe it's <laughs> because your clothes are too small. Do you think that's why you got sick? Of course. Darn workplace full of problems. Can't even give us proper work clothes or tissues or... Wait, wait, why am I telling you this? I ain't getting moved to janitor's apprentice again for complaining. Get lost, kid. Man, these guys need some workers' comp. What's that you're using? What's that you're using? Some kind of rock? Thinstone? Whetstone. Whetstone. Makes things sharp that ain't sharp. Can I... Maybe, pretty please, borrow it for- Get your own from the utility closet. Oh good, there's some in the utility closet. Have you seen a bear prisoner? Have you seen a bear prisoner? Did anyone come in here after me? Do I look like a surveyor of prisoners to you? Jeez, get lost, kid. I'm going now, mister. I'm going now, mister. I'll visit you later, okay? No, don't. Really. Just don't. 
Poor guy. What an interesting device. I guess the trolls aren't completely mistreated. Oh, yeah, water cooler. Mm. Living like kings we are. I only see cold. Where's the hot water? I can't just pour water into my hands. I need something to pour it into. Do I still have my spring? Ah, no, it's gone. The only thing this guy needs is a tissue. Look. Alright, so I'll keep an eye out for a tissue for this guy. Be sure you get there we go. The person who talked to me before is just in there. So close, but so far. Knock knock. I can't. Not while that guard is still there. I guess not part of the union then, because he didn't join the meeting. The fake meeting, but still. Doesn't look like it's blending anything anytime soon. Makes for a good jug at least. Oh, I'll take it then. I don't know. Hey, that ain't yours. Oh, uh, sorry. Is it okay if I just borrow it for a little while? Actually, yeah, you can borrow it. All the way to utility. Then give it to them to fix it for me. Uh, sure. Sure. Seems like utility has a, has a bunch of stuff I'm gonna be using later. Chilies. Grandpa put a tiny bit of these in our dinner. Made my whole head heat up. Hate them. Red hot chili peppers. Uh, what else we got? I got enough. Don't want to be greedy. That's fair. Melons, yummy. Perfect for a muggy hot place like this. Hmm. Well, there is a lot here. I'm sure one is okay to take. Whoa! Ah, yeah, right. It's a video game. We have video game inventory. <laughs> We smash it. We take it and we throw it on the ground. <laughs> I don't need your charity. I'm not part of your system. Doesn't look like it's blending anything. Once grandpa put it. Okay, so nothing new there. Can we combine any of this stuff? No. Not a bad idea. But the guard seems to eat quite a lot. So chances are he's used to them. I don't know how we get past him. No, I'll need something more effective. Oh, I have to make a smoothie for the guard. Nah, I don't know how much help spicy food will have with a cold though. Alright, let's see. No, I want to keep this for blending things. Okay, so not that with the cup then. Uh, is there anything else? Slop? It looks like it's been there so long, it's turned as hard as rock. Ugh. I'll take it. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the food Winfried fed me. I'll pass. Okay, I won't eat it then. I don't know. Let's see. This has gone way too hard and dry to fit into any of the descriptions of the drink. <laughs> Dungeon Gates, the gallows. Uh, Dungeon Gates first. Yikes. This place gives me the creeps. Oh, yep. We're in HE double hockey sticks. We I did say yes. that the uh, devilish yeah, size has feel too. Hi. Um, I'm just wondering, since I am actually innocent, you see, can I maybe leave now, please? Oh, is that so? Well then, I assume you have Form 38B indicating reasons for your acquittal, along with confirmation from head office, yes? One more time? In case it's not immediately apparent to you, this place runs on a very strict code of paperwork for applications and processes, all of which comes through me. It does not operate at the whim of the cretins within, otherwise we'd all be in complete disorder. Cretins? So plead your innocence all you like. No one ever walks through this gate here without the express written consent of the head office. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, so what I'm hearing is, I just have to talk with the head office. So where is the head office? Okay, so if I need the consent of the head office, then where is the head office? It's at the northernmost part of the dungeon, past the... Wait, you don't intend to go there yourself, do you? Of course I do. 
If that's what it takes for me to have a chance of getting out of here... This isn't any old dungeon. This is THE dungeon. And the devil, he is the head of <laughs> THE devil. And he isn't particularly fond of unannounced visitors. Oh, yeah. Grandpa said I was a little devil when I did something bad, so... Similar thing? When you did something bad, right? Sure. It's just like that. Okay. So we're dealing with the actual devil. <laughs> I need a farm too? Form, not farm. You said I needed a form too, right? For a quibble of miners for high treason, document 38B. Yes. Just like the miners, huh? Oh. What if I want to bring someone with me? Yes, well, that would be Form 31M, an acquittal form based on cases following relative detainment. Oh, good. Okay. Could I please have a copy of Form 31M? Um, no. That one's still pending approval from the devil. Okay, so, in order for me to get approval, I have to get the form. Then I have to get the form from the devil to get approval to get the form for the devil to sign. Yep, we're in a bureaucracy, all right. <laughs> Fun. Have you seen a bear prisoner? Have you seen a bear prisoner? Did anyone come in here after me? A bear? No, not counting our three resident Californian inmates up there. You mean those three cages up there? The very same. Now, anything else? Hmm. I'll, I'll leave you to your work then. Oh, I'll leave you to your work then. Okay. What do we got? Ooh, a bunch of stuff. Hello. Oh, poor bears. They all look so sad. They're breaking my heart. I can't do anything from down here. Telekinesis! I'm not sure if my telekinesis will work on this. Okay, fine. <laughs> what an odd looking fellow. Kind of creepy. I hope I don't come across anything like that down here. Imps? Uh, I'm not sure about that. It looks like it's holding up the wall. And, well, I like the wall where it is. Is that Chekhov's gun? Am I gonna break the wall later? Uh... Files for applications, finance, riddles, bills... Wait, riddles? Why is there a riddle category? <laughs> I imagine it's for um, tricking the devil. I can't read. As you can. I pull something down, but there's a lot there. Maybe I should look and see if there's anything I want first. I think I'd want riddles, but you know that's just me. Stop. Hey, stop that. This isn't your personal daycare. Go play somewhere else. <laughs> I just realized yet another guard who's not really stopping us from escaping. <laughs> I can't tell if this represents the amount of prisoners in here or the amount of absurd paperwork this guy has conjured up. Why not both? Can I get any? It could make for a good distraction, but I would never find the form I need if these are spilt everywhere. Okay, so I have to steal the form at some point. Uh, 31M and 38B. The door out of this place. So close to freedom, but so far. There's no use. Even if it wasn't locked, I wouldn't get far before I'd be thrown straight back in by the guards. It looks like I'm getting out with the devil's permission. I'm not getting out at all. There is no use. Even if it goes... Okay. So... I'm gonna talk with the devil, get, get his permission to get the form, or steal the form, and get his permission to sign the form that I steal. At some point. Okay. Let's go to the gallows. Uh... What is... going on? 
Oh what no. What's happening here exactly? Oh, I'm just, uh, don't mind me, young one. This is no place for someone as lovely and innocent as a white carnation. Off you go now. Oh. Hold on a second. Uh, ah, he's going to, he's going to. Oh, old Wilfred is in a bit of a pickle, as you can see. But, uh, yes. <laughs> What can I say? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, <sighs> this situation has me weary and full of regret as an asphalt. Okay, I'm gonna talk with you real um, soon, but I need to get some stuff first. Glitter from the stands. Grandpa always said, "One person's trash is another person's treasure." Yes, give me. As much as I can make use of random things, even I have my limits. No, disappointing adventure. Everything is a usable item. Mm. Oh. I guess I cleaned up? I guess there's not a whole lot of entertainment down here. But this? Really? And Grandpa thought I was too young for some of the books I read. <sighs> Hey, kid. Uh, come here often? He looks pretty involved. I wouldn't want to disrupt it for him. Letter from the stands. Oh, good. It's an inventory I can't take. Clean, right? I mean, it's not like I go around carrying used napkins. <laughs> Letter from the stick. Okay. Now the stall is clean. There must have been a point to throwing that the trash off the side. I can't figure out what it is for though. These torches seem pretty. Okay. They sure do get the. I'll talk with these people first. Hey, Wilfred, how you doing? Hi, Wilfred. If I don't do something soon, then he'll, he'll. I have to help him. Oh, hello there, young one. Hello. Why would they want to, you know? I, I don't understand. Look at you. But why would they want to, you know? Oh, it's a bit of an unfortunate mishap, really. The official reason is high treason, though. Or so they say. Hey, that's like me. I did that too. Well, apparently. I think it was just Winfreda's lie to get me locked up. But why everyone is obeying her, I just do not know. Winfreda? Winfreda locked you up too? Oh, dearie. Wait. Winfreda put you here? She. she did this to you? They are going to. because she. I was just on the ladder tending to the garden, is all, when. When I saw, it was her room, the secret room in the castle. It was horrible. Oh dear me! Oh, uh, he saw something he shouldn't have. Hey, Cass, enjoy the lurk. Just uh, enjoy the vibes of, well, this kind of dark but also very um, adorable point-and-click adventure game. <laughs> what did you see in this room? What did you see in this room? What was so horrible? Winfrey, she's not who she seems. She changes the way she looks. It's, it's witchcraft. And that's not all I saw. I saw plants. Many, many plants. On the floor, on the walls, on the blackboard. And inside, inside she was building something. She was building some sort of cage. Cage? If not for me, then... Then? Could it be? W what did these plants say? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. There were lots of numbers and diagrams, and I am just a simple old man. It leaves me wondering, it does. Like the deep-thinking begonia. That's it. If I get out of here, I have to find this room. <laughs> oh. He's definitely a gardener. He keeps making um, flower references. Hang on, 
tick. Just have to drink some water. Stay hydrated and all that. Very important. There we go. Winfrieda has a room in the castle? The royal castle? Winfrieda has a room in the castle? The royal castle? But why would she have... Oh, but of course. Where else would she keep her room? Why, young one, she's our new queen. No, it can't be. It can't. Winfrieda, the... The Queen? Well, not yet. She's to be married any day now, though. She'll be married after Yannicke so quickly. Yannicke. It's a shame the King has acted so unlike himself of late. Such a shame. Oh, Queen Yannicke. Only the great Gebera had such happiness and joy. What is it that you keep doing with the naming? What is it that you keep doing with the naming? Are they flowers? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I do enjoy nothing more than being with my flowers. I feel everything through Ooh, them. hints. I'm a gardener, you see, for the royal family. For, oh, many, many years. Well, was, I suppose. Oh, Wilfred, don't apologize. That's so sweet. Such a caring, gentle gardener doesn't deserve this. Oh, you say such kind words, young one. You warm this old heart of Wilfred like a pepper flower, you do. Why, I feel as, as giddy as the sleep spores of the Pacificac, I do. Okay, hang on. What was that about the sleep spores? Oh, that flower you mentioned, the sleep spores. That flower you mentioned with the sleep spores. A uh, Pacicap or Cap? Oh, the Pacificac, yes. Such an alluring, bright, beautiful thing it is, too but to be handled with the utmost care. It isn't deadly by any means, but its spores can knock you into a sleep that lasts for days. Perfect. Um, would this flower be difficult to find them by any chance? Oh no, not really. It is a relatively common species, but quite similar to a number of others too. I can draw a picture of one to show you all its details if you like. Oh yes please. You have something to draw with? No, oh, yes, I always carry a pencil and pad with me. Oh, but... Oh, my hands, they're a little tied up, I'm afraid. My apologies, young one. No, no, I'm sorry. That was silly of me to ask. Maybe once I help you get out of here, you can draw for me, huh? Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. I should probably get going now, mister. I should probably get going now, mister. See if I can get all of us out of this place already. Young one, I may have misheard you. Get all of us out of here? How do you mean? Apparently I just have to get some kind of form signed. And then I can take others with me. All I need is a signature from this devil guy. <laughs> no! Is that all? No, he won't. Young one, we are here because... He willed it to be so. He will never let us go. Believe me, young one. Wherever evil exists, he has been a part of it. Okay. I don't really know anything about that. But I still have to at least try, Wilfred. I have to. Oh dear. Please, be careful. Anna's so innocent. Okay. I Just don't... a regular can. The trolls here are such letter bugs. I'm gonna go ahead and check my inventory. I have a bunch of stuff I can use. At least it's clean, right? I mean, it's not like I go around carrying used napkins. I have a blender, a few ingredients, a can, a napkin. So probably I can pour something into the can and feed it to one of the guards to get them to like leave their post. Or the executioner here. It's a big axe you have. Gosh. Is bigger than the executioner. As far as game hosts go, he's not really the chirpiest around. Then again, not really a chirpy game, is it? Ooh, I can uh, mess with the sign. Well, 
Oh, Wilfred, if I don't do something soon, then he'll... he'll... Ah, I have to help him. I'm not sure moving it around myself is going to fool the executioner. That's how we have... Telekinesis! I'm not sure moving... Okay, fine. I don't know if he'll part with that so easily. He seems pretty attached to it. Oh, he'll part something, alright. <laughs> okay, is there anything? Yeah! Hmm. No job. Oh, thank goodness. What a relief. New game. New game? Aw, oh, man. Congratulations, you win. Price is loose. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no! You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. 